This is the Boyce Beijing Report, and I am Boyce. Now today we are discussing a very serious issue. This man right here, the Prime Minister of Britain, Mr. David Cameron, recently made a very serious statement. He stated that from now on, countries that do not reform their legislation banning homosexuality will no longer be receiving aid from the British government. Now that's really not very nice. So we have got to make a decision as to what we can do. What we can do? We know we want to eat. But if we want to eat, then we've we got to change the law. And if we change the law, then we might get AIDS. So what is we can do? This got me can't sleep at night. I can't sleep. Dr. Murray, I need my proper for. So what do you think we should do? So we have got to make a decision on this. Now, if you were to look at the Barbados law, I'm going to put on my legal glasses here. If you were to look at the Barbados law as it relates to homosexuality, it states that a person who's convicted of homosexuality a.k.a. buggery. Now, the truth of the matter is that men and women is buggered too. But let us not digress on that. It says a person who is convicted is liable to be sentenced to life in prison. Life. Now, that is a very long time. That means that it's better for you to murder a man than to buggery. You will get treated better. So this is something that we got to make a decision on. So our government has already been speaking out. Our Attorney General has said that he will not stand for it. And then we have Minister Hamila who called it an act of terrorism. And then we got the African people. You know the African people that take this thing real serious. The Ugandans, they already have been talking out. And they have been saying, the African people, we will not take the bullying. The United Kingdom is attempting to bully us. We will not take the bullying. We will adhere to our religious laws. We will adhere to our cultural norms. And we will not be lying down and taking no bullying from the United Kingdom. You take that, David Cameron. So that is what the African people are saying. So I put it up as a topic on the Peter Boy's Facebook page. I want to use one of my friends. And I got a plethora of different comments. Some people say, it is an antiquated law, we don't enforce it anywhere, and now we get penalized for it. We might as well take it off the books because it don't get enforced. Some people say, don't let Brenda come out here and tell me what to do. Raise a question, country. Next thing you know, the Lord come and we don't hear living in sin. Don't mind them, don't let me change my laws. The boy's opinion is, what two consulting adults do in the comfort of their own home is their own business. We were doing looking at people's homes. As long as they're not going around robbing, thiefing, and snatching people's blackberry phones, that is up to them. So we gotta decide what we can do. But one thing that I agree with was this about David Cameron and Britain talking about them coming out here trying to bully we. They're not saying about we. Now if they were to approach me, like decent gentlemen, and they were to say, Well, I, I must say, Prime Minister Frindle Stewart, if you wouldn't awfully mind if you were to change the law as it relates to homosexuality, that would be quite fine, and we can discuss it over a cup of tea. Now that is the kind of approach that you should take. Not when you come in from behind trying to bury me over a barrel and bully me. We don't like getting bullied. I know I don't, and I hope you don't like it either. So that has been the Boys Beijing Report. So watch out for more Beijing reports happening real soon right here. So make sure and stay tuned. 